one of the fundamental goals of this project is to be able to understand how animals respond to chemical threats that are found in our water supply. In this case, we have discovered that this animal's genes are diagnostic in terms of its physiology, in terms of its, uh, of its, uh, of its healthiness in an environment. The goals would be to measure the changes that happen in their genes that would then lead to technologies that may be able to tell us something about the presence and effects of those chemicals. Like many model systems, Daphnia has many attributes that are good for experimental testing. They're small, they're easy to manipulate in the laboratory, they have very short generation times, they reproduce every six days at optimal temperatures and optimal conditions. And so therefore, it's very easy to find very quickly how an animal is affected by its chemical stresses when used for diagnosing the health of brush water or water supplies. They're very important in freshwater ecosystems. They are the primary grazers of algae and of plankton, and they are the primary forage for small fish. And so in essence, they're a key for freshwater ecosystems to be able to actually uh, do what it needs to do. And so for that reason, scientists have been using it quite uh, naturally for getting a sense of the health of freshwater environments. The water flea genome happens to be a very small genome counting only 200 million bases. And yet, despite the small size, we've discovered nearly 31,000 genes, which is the largest number of genes that have ever been recorded in a sequenced animal genome. It was fascinating to discover that you can pack 31,000 genes within only 200 million bases. The reason for that is that the non-coding regions, the regions that don't code for proteins, happen to be much smaller than the regions found in other organisms. For instance, out of introns, these are the spaces that are found between the coding regions of genes, they are less than 100 bases and therefore shortens the genes by almost 1,000 bases compared to the genes found in fruit flies.